What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use the extension Flowify in order to create complex shapes along surfaces in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to generate a surface in order to bend our object along. And so in this case, let's go ahead and let's create something with sandbox tools. So I have done stuff in the past with like extrude tools as well, um, creating kind of like longer tunnels and that kind of thing. But for now, let's go ahead and let's just use the sandbox tools from scratch in order to create a grid. So I'm gonna set my grid spacing to like three feet. And then I'm just going to click and I'm going to create a grid here and a grid here. So something like this. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to use the smooth tool in order to move it up and down. So we'll just take this whole thing and just move it up and down like this. So we've got kind of a complex shape in here like this. So I'm going to triple click on this, right click to reverse the faces and we're good to go. So now we have a surface that we can bend something along, right? And so now what we need to do is we need to figure out how big our grid needs to be in order to do that. And so the way that I do that is if I jump in here and go to parallel projection mode, I can select just the edges on this side right here. And what I'm trying to figure out is I'm trying to figure out the overall length of this edge because I'm gonna use it um, in order to set up kind of a canvas shape that I can draw my complex shape on top of. So in this case, this is approximately 178 feet. Um, so I'm just going to draw a line that is this distance. And this is basically just giving us a guide for how big everything's going to be. So we're gonna do 178 feet, basically that distance. And then I can also do the same thing on this other side over here. So I wanna make sure I just get these edges. So that one's just gonna be 30 feet. So that's pretty easy. So we're just going to make this 30 feet right here. And so now let's come in here and let's turn back on uh, perspective mode and let's generate our shape that we wanna bend along here. So there's a lot of different things that we can do. Um, I'm gonna double click and make this a group, by the way. There's a lot of different things that we could do in here. Like for example, we could create kind of a grid. So let's say I was to draw a line here. So I could create kind of a simple series of shapes like this. Then I could use maybe the move tool in copy mode in order to create some copies. So I could do like a divided by five, something like that. So you could create a shape like that. You could also create something a little bit more complex. So let's say for example, that I wanted to generate some curves in here and maybe I'll go to this point. But let's say I wanted some curves that kind of like moved back and forth along this surface. I could use the arc tool to do that and then offset them. I mean, really you could draw any 3D shape in here that you wanted to. So another interesting one could be if we just had a series of cylinders that were in here, maybe like smaller cylinders. You know, or you could get really crazy and create like uh, like Vornois textures or Vornois patterns or other kinds of patterns, other things like that. You could do a lot of different stuff with this. Um, but once you get this set up, you can kind of test out these different things to see what kind of results you can get. But now what I want to do is I want to use the free extension Flowify in order to bend some of these patterns along this surface. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start just visually speaking, I find it easier to move this so that it's aligned on the top right here. But what Flowify allows you to do is it allows you to basically take this object and split it up into a grid. And then whatever you select along with this, it's going to bend it along this surface. But the way that that needs to work is you need to have three groups. And this is where everybody kind of gets stuck, right? So you need one target group that contains just your target geometry. Your target geometry needs to have four corners on it. So if you have something like five corners or something like that, it's not going to work the way that it should. But you need to have that as a group with just raw geometry inside of it. You need to have two target lines running from the corners to the corners of your base surface like this, and you need to make that a group. And then your base surface needs to be a group with only your base geometry in here like this. And then you need to take all three of those and put them in a group. 
like this. Okay, if you don't do it this way, it's not going to work. You have to follow every single step. Um, otherwise, it's not going to do what you want it to do. But to test to see if you've set it up properly, you can just go to Extensions, Flowify, once you've installed and enabled Flowify, and you can click on the option for Impose Grid. If you get a grid on this surface, then you know that it's working properly. So the next thing we want to do before we start bending stuff um, in Flowify is we want to save our model. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this group right here to this base piece right here. And so I want to select my Flowify group and my geometry to be bent. And I'm going to go to Extensions, Flowify, and click on Flowify. What that's going to do is that's going to take this object and it's going to bend it along this surface just like this. So if we look at this, I'm going to move it off to the side. It's basically come in here and it's split this object up using a grid and then it's bent it along that surface. Notice how we have all this extra geometry in here. I just want to go into soften edges. I want to check the box for soften coplanar. And if you're still getting edges in here, you can kind of mess around with this slider as well. But now I've got this whole thing in here and notice how I was able to easily create that shape. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this off to the side. Now let's do the same thing with this object right here. So I'm just going to move this up here and we just want to make sure that it's aligned on our surface where we want it to be on the surface down below. So I'm just going to make sure that this is aligned with the end right here. But then we can do the same thing, right? Select them both, Flowify, Flowify. And it's going to do the same thing. but it's going to use this shape this time instead of the other shape. So if I move this over, and I want to check that same box right here, but you can see how it's generated this kind of like up and down surface or object using those tools. So now let's do the same thing with our cylinders. So the cylinders is going to give us a slightly different result because these are a lot taller. And so we'll see what this does. I'm not actually 100% sure how this one's going to turn out. Um, because of the heights, it might get a little bit funky because it's going to kind of bend them in different directions. But let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're just going to do a file save. And then we'll do the same thing. Extensions, Flowify, Flowify. And so notice what it did is it took all of those objects and it bent them along this surface. So it split them up using a grid and then it bent them. And so let's say that we didn't like that and we wanted all of these to be shorter. So what we could do is we could just come in here and we could just adjust these just by selecting the tops of all of them and moving them down like this. But then we could do the same thing where we run it again and so you can rerun this multiple times. As soon as you get everything kind of set up, you can uh, basically come in here and try to bend different kinds of shapes along this surface, no problem. All right, so I'll link to Flowify in the notes down below. This is one of my absolute favorite extensions for SketchUp because it just allows you to create such amazing stuff. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll link to some other tutorials on this page about Flowify as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.